Let them grind! That is what Baratza has said with the new Encore ESP coffee grinder. And we're going to talk today about the recommended grind settings for this awesome new unit from Baratza. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com and I'm talking about the Baratza Encore ESP grinder on the channel today and let's dive right into it. Now we've done another video that's going to give you an overview of this device, you can check that out here on our channel, but we're going to talk about the recommended grind settings for various types of beverages that you might be brewing with the coffee that you grind from this unit. On top of the device, on the adjustment ring, you've got 40 adjustment settings, starting all the way at zero on my right-hand side, and zero to 20 is marked as ESP. You'll notice that on the top ring it says ESP there. That is for grinding espresso or within the grind of espresso. So in other words, very, very finely ground coffee. Once you get to the middle mark at 20, then you're going to start stepping up and in this case, you're going to be stepping up in much more large increments as you turn the adjustment with the bean hopper. That's going to increase the coarseness of your coffee. So when you're over here on my far right hand side and you're adjusting, you're adjusting in very small increments. The new M2 burr that is inside of the device is going to be much more close with its outer burr and that way you're going to get a really fine grind. As you increase above that 20 mark, you're going to expand the offset between those burrs and therefore you're going to get a much more coarsely ground coffee. And of course, you're going to want to grind depending on the type of beverage that you're going to make with it. So let's talk about some of those recommended grind settings. Grinding for espresso, which of course is basically in the name of this device, suggested by Baratza is the 15 mark on the adjustment range. So what I have found is that the easiest way to do is to turn the bean hopper to the number 10 and then step up in increments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get to the 15 mark. This is what Baratza to suggest for grinding for espresso, and I gotta say, they nailed it with this suggestion. It is spot on. If you take a look at the coffee grounds that I've got here that I have previously ground in the studio, I do have grinding at the 15 level right here, and this is so fine, it just blew my mind. Grinders don't blow my mind a lot, and this was super impressive. I should also mention that I also gave a go at grinding at just the one mark, which is going to be really fine, and I've got that right above my espresso. It's a bit hard to see the difference between those, but I could definitely see that it got even more fine. So if you really want to play with your settings when you're grinding for espresso, set yourself to about that 15 mark, and then you can adjust up or down depending on what it is that you need, and specifically the coarseness or the fineness, in that I should say in this case, for the type of device that you will be brewing your coffee with. Next up is going to be AeroPress, which is one of my favorite ways to brew coffee. It's something that I usually brew with daily, give or take, and a lot of you brew with AeroPress too, I think, and so you would ask, well, how do I brew for AeroPress? Barasa recommends setting to the 22 mark, so again, in this case, I set my adjustment mark to 20, and then just step up 1, 2. Now I'm at 22. Now, it's important to note that this is probably going to hit the mark pretty well, but you want to keep in mind that brew time is going to be important in this case as well. Probably looking about a minute and a half, so a minute, 30 seconds for getting a good brew out of the AeroPress setting on the device, but you'll want to play with that a little bit because you may find that you like it a little more coarse, a little more fine, but it's really easy to do. Just put some beans in, grind, adjust, check it, and then adjust from there until you get your perfect grind. Quick mentions here is going to be the Hario V60, where Baratza is going to suggest setting your adjustment to 25, then stepping up to go to automatic or uh, standard automatic brewing machines. They're going to suggest 28 on the adjustment scale, and then going up to the Chemex brewing method, you're going to go up to the 30 mark on the device, so that is super easy to see right here on the adjustment ring. Now let's move on to talking about French press, because that's what we talk about here on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Finally, let's talk about grinding for French press, my favorite way of brewing, with the Baratza Encore ESP. Now, Baratza suggests using a setting of 32 on the device, so again, that's really easy to find. I set to 30 and then just step up two steps up right here on the adjustment scale. Now we did some grinding using that suggested setting by Baratza, and we've got those grounds right here, and we found that this was probably a little too fine, we would say, for French press. It's very consistent, that's one thing I have to say about this device, extremely consistent on the coffee grind, 
but again, a little fine. And depending on the type of French press you're using, that might not lead to the most desirable brew overall. Um, it might be okay for a filter type of brew, something with a paper filter or something like that. But when you're doing the actual French press filter, it could be a little different. So what we would suggest is step up just a little bit more. Probably go to that 32 mark and then maybe go up by two, up by two, until you hit the coarseness that you're looking for for French press. And it's going to be different for everyone. You may find that you like that setting of 32 and then that gives you the grind that you're looking for, especially for the device that you're using. But remember, this does really come down to getting that perfect grind for being able to do French press. It can be difficult to hit French press and a good grind for French press just as much as it can be difficult to hit a good grind for espresso, but the Encore ESP does a great job, spot on, of hitting espresso. French press, I think you just got to play with it a little bit until you nudge it right towards the right mark. Now, one last thing to mention is that over time as you're grinding with the device, or if you just want to calibrate it yourself, and as Barazza puts it, user calibration, you can calibrate the device your own way using these metal shims that come with the device. These shims will be placed underneath the conical steel burr, the M2 burr that is inside of the device, and these will actually push that burr up ever so slightly. They're very, very small, so it's going to be a very tiny increment, but that little increment can totally make a difference in how it is that you're grinding. So if you want to calibrate the device yourself, using those shims will allow you to do that. Most of us probably won't need to. I think when it comes right down to it, the device is great at grinding for a lot of different beverage types, a lot of different grind types. But if you're geeky, nerdy, like we are, you might want to play with it a little bit over time. And that's it, everyone. That is the recommended grind settings for the brand new Baratza Encore ESP, a really awesome device that I am definitely having a lot of fun with. But what I want to know is what is your favorite setting on a device such as the Baratza Encore ESP on this specific one? What's your number? What's your number, everybody? Tell me in the comments section of this video because we would love to know. Now, as always, if there's anything that we've missed in this video, if you have questions, comments, anything else, remember, leave them down there in the comments section. Get in touch with us at FrenchPressCoffee.com. And we have a favor to ask. Do us a favor, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, turn on our notifications so that you know when we release brand new videos so that you can keep up with all the awesome things that we do here at FrenchPressCoffee.com. We're so grateful to all of you who tune in and have watched us for so many years here at French Press Coffee. It means a lot to us. And so we want to know, what is it that you're brewing at home and how are you doing it? Again, tell us in the comments. We hope to hear from you soon. As always, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to FrenchPressCoffee.com. I'm Brian, and I'll see you next time. Take care. If you liked that highly caffeinated video, why don't you give us a like? And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel. If you do, I'll give you an awesome coffee quote. Go on. I'll wait. Oh, there you go. Well, thank you so much. And now for a coffee quote, which I'm sure all of us can relate to. Given enough coffee, I could rule the world.